Hey, what up? Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to mine. Oh, clock. I don't know. I don't think I've ever said it like that. Anyways, hey, everybody. Welcome. Um, hope you're all doing well. It's always weird streaming for the first time in a few days after like you go away. I went away this weekend and now I'm back and I have been back for, oh, you know, since like Sunday, <laughs> but you, you, you sit down and you stream again. And you're like, I don't remember how to do any of this. It's been three days. I cannot possibly be expected to remember how to stream after not streaming for three days. Right? I think that's fair. Let's play some music. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. You might notice that we are not playing Ocean Block, or whatever it's called. Ocean Man. Feed the Beast Ocean Man. <laughs> um, as was originally planned. Um, it turns out that uh, Uno wasn't able to make today's stream uh, due to the time change, but also work. Um, and then it didn't really make a lot of sense. I really wanted to start this thing with all three of us, right? Um, cause that, that, that is the ideal. Start, start it with all three. Ignore Surgeon Chat. He's just being silly. He knew full well that we were not playing Ocean Block. <laughs> um, and Surge is, uh, on vacation this week. Um, but not from all of the Loading Ready Run stuff that he has to do. But then, I was like, well, if, if Uno can't make it, just you take the day off. <laughs> Poutine? Uh, you take the day off, I'll rock solo, we can start Ocean Block next week. Um, and so that is the plan. So, uh, the plan, uh, for today is to just hang out and dig a hole. Uh, just hang out and dig a hole. My work here is done. Well, enjoy your poutine. Um, but then next week, all three of us will be back, and all three of us will be ready to go, and all three of us will play some Ocean Block, which should be a lot of fun. But yeah, for today, um, we're just going to hang out and chill, and we're going to dig a hole. Um, nothing's, nothing fancy. It's going to be a hole on my punch -a chunk base. It's not like I'm going to start a brand new hole. That That's silly. <laughs> uh, we're just going to dig a hole and just hang out and chat and listen to the music and just enjoy ourselves and, and just chill for the next couple hours. It should be fun. I always like it because it means I can uh, pay a, a little bit more attention to chat than I normally do with this, this show. It's always tricky, right? Like with Surge and Uno here, I, I definitely am not able to pay as close attention to chat as I uh, like to do so. Um, but now without those distractions, those distractions being named Surge and Uno. Well, actually, technically, Uno is not named Uno. Uno has a real name. Um, but I have been sworn to secrecy. Uh, Kinslayer, welcome back for 54 months. Garfi, welcome back for 67 months. Two to go. Very nice. Lord Crusher, welcome back for 79 months. Welcome back. Nightwing Magic, thanks for the six month resub. Brozord with the 40 month resub says Poutine. Uh, no. And Compunic for 23 months. I've been lowered from co-host to distraction. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, you were never at co-host. Sorry. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Kick a man while he's down. What are you talking about? He's off this week. He's enjoy go enjoy your damn vacation. Stop watching me. Good lord. Go get some breakfast poutine, Serge. And then lunch poutine and then dinner poutine. And take pictures of it all. But don't post them on socials. Just send them to me. You have your assignment. <laughs> Let's see if Serge understands the assignment. I just had a bagel. That has neither french fries, gravy, or cheese. What kind of bagel? Was it a good bagel? Is 
Is breakfast poutine on home fries or hash instead of French fries? Uh, probably on like, uh, yeah, like hash browns or whatever. Home fries, sure, whatever you want to call them. Mmm, a bagel, a poutine bagel. It's just like a bagel and then fries and then cheese curds and gravy. That sounds gross. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible idea. Let's. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, oh, oh. This is a photo of. <laughs> this is a photo of like a few weeks ago when we ate poutine. This does not count. Bagel and peanut butter. I mean, that doesn't answer what kind. I assume then a regular plain bagel. Crunchy or smooth? Ooh, that's a good question. Wait, hold on. Serge, do you like crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? And please keep in mind that our friendship does hang in the balance to the answer of this question. I hate to be that guy, but I'm just saying there is a right and wrong answer. <laughs> I do like crunchy, but this morning was smooth. Whew, thank God. I mean, I... The fact that you said I do like crunchy is teetering on like friendship over, but because you had smooth, you are forgiven. Uh, Street Rage, welcome back for 35 months. Three years off by one. Thank you, friend. Appreciate it. All right, there's actually zero reason why I can't be um, dunking on Surge and digging a hole. Uh, multitasking. It's called multitasking. Ivan Lens, welcome back for 56 months. I'm looking at a recipe of breakfast poutine with hollandaise sauce. It uses french fries or tots, saving for later. Yep, I've definitely had um, a breakfast poutine using hollandaise sauce. All these years I've been buying smooth and just now Serge tells me he likes crunchy. Joe, Joe, do not, do not buy crunchy. Do not buy him crunchy peanut butter. Don't do it. It's a trap. Back to the pit. Uh, I guess I go this way. Also, my game volume is a little low. Um, anyways, welcome to uh, the Punch a Chunk world, where we just literally on Friday finished chunk nine and started ten. Wait. One, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is starting 10. We are in the double digits, um, which is very exciting. Why am I hungry? I just, uh, okay, we need to stop talking about freaking poutine. This is ridiculous. It's 10, 13 a.m. I've had my coffee. I've had my breakfast. I do not need to be hungry. I, you, you know what? Anime Kitty is correct. Maybe I do need water. Thank you. Time for a snack? No. I've got nothing else to do today other than fry nap. Well, yes, that's because you're on vacation. I, I am not. <laughs> I have many things I need to do today. James, it is prime time for ice cream in Atlantic Canada. What should I get? Hold on. It's What do you mean it's prime time for ice cream in Atlantic? Isn't it like 2 p.m. in the afternoon in Atlantic Canada? Since when is 2 p.m. prime time for ice cream? That's news to me. 2 p.m. is prime time. All right. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, you could make the argument that every every time is prime time for ice cream. I suppose you're not wrong. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I mean, just uh, just go rock. I mean, keep it simple. Go rock a, a, a DQ Blizzard. You got Dairy Queens and I don't know where you live. Let's go with Newfoundland. Right? You, you got Dairy Queens back, back east, right? 
Uh, the walking. Welcome back for 53 months. Thank you. Is it even Atlantic time zone? Look, I don't know. Where do you live? Are you in... I don't even... I, okay, apparently I don't know how time zones work then. Oh, you're in Nova Scotia. All right, fine. Fine. You live in Nova Scotia. Cool. Anyways, do you have Dairy Queens in Nova Scotia? <laughs> Themlin, welcome back for 25 months. Appreciate it. Where are you going to film Rogue Quest 2? I mean, I wouldn't say no to filming Rogue Quest 2 back east. That'd be super dope. Yes, we have Dairy Queen in Nova Scotia. Well, there you go. Go get the blizzard. Go get a chocolate extreme blizzard. Just to the max. James, you should go to Nova should go to Nova Scotia and find out. Uh I mean no. I'm good. That's like so much chocolate. Well then get a mini one. Look, you can't come here, ask for my advice, and then when I give it to you, you say no. That's not how this works. <laughs> You don't gotta get like a big blizzard. Just get like a normal sized blizzard. It's annoying me that my sub notifier There we go. That looks better. Have you ever had an extra large blizzard? I mean, back in the day, I definitely have had an extra large blizzard back when I was in my like early 20s. 32 ounce blizzard is, um, it's uh, it's the actual word. I would die if I was deed that today. Yo, Trope Arcana, welcome back for 23 months. Thank you, friends. I remember we, we used to, to, you would go in, because you could add extra top. I don't know if you could still, I could, I'm sure you could still do this today, but it used to be that they actually advertised, um, like, additional toppings on a blizzard, and it was, like, 30 cents. Um, 30 cents, and you can add additional toppings, so we always used to talk about getting a 32-ounce blizzard with every topping. I don't know if anybody actually ever did it. I have no memory but I'm sure that it probably happened at some point, and it was probably horrible. Time to buy Ben three of those and ask if he'd rather have those or 100 nuggets. <laughs> I'd definitely rather attempt 100 nuggets than... Wait, three? Wait, three? That's 90... That's so... That's too much dairy. You would... No. You would just... No. I would definitely rather attempt the Nugget Centurion. Yo, Chucky D! Welcome back for 14 months. Thank you. I mean, I would fail at eating 100 Nuggets as well, but I would, I would rather try that than the ice cream. I mean, we used to get six patty burgers at Wendy's back when it was double the meat for a dollar instead of a dollar. I mean, we used to get, back in the day um, when McDonald's, you remember when McDonald's, I mean, maybe you don't, but McDonald's used to do their um, hamburger, cheeseburger, Wednesdays, Saturdays, where on Wednesdays, you could get a hamburger for like, I don't know, it was something stupid, like 49 or 59 cents or something like this. Like, it was an absurd, it, it, this is back in like, I'm talking about like 98. This would have been like 1998, 1999. So we're talking like over 20 years ago now. They would do Wednesdays were hamburger days, Saturdays were cheeseburger days. Saturdays were also um, our old D&D &D days. 
So every Saturday, we would um, we would play D and D up at Bill's place, and every Saturday late afternoon, we would go down to McDonald's, the one that it, I would actually incidentally end up working at for like five years, a few a few years after this we used to do this, um, and we would get. Like, literally, like, between the, like, eight of us who played D&D together, we would honestly get, like, some, like, like over a hundred cheeseburgers. Like, we would all get, like, ten or a dozen cheeseburgers. Because, like, a McDonald's cheeseburger is, A, tiny, um, and also we were, like, 17 years old, right? So, like, a 17-year-old guy can, you know, pack away frickin' a dozen McDonald's cheeseburgers and, like, feel like a million dollars um and we were all idiots and we would all do that because it was cheap as heck oh no i cheated yeah 17 when you can eat half your body weight and be hungry by dinner exactly and yeah we would just order and i remember like at some point they they ended up like i mean certainly not directly because of us but probably because of people like us all over the country and probably the, <laughs> probably the continent who would come in and order, you know, dozens of cheeseburgers, and they were like, no, this doesn't, you gotta, no more. You can, you can get ten. Ten is the max. Oh, this is interesting. Is this entirely all within my chunk? I think it is. Actually makes this very easy. It's James talks about fast food for three hours a day. I could probably do that. I mean, I could easily do that. I literally, I worked at McDonald's for five years. I could easily talk about fast food for f for three hours. Um, yeah, no. Uh, Surge is on vacation this week. Uh, Uno uh, couldn't make it because of the time change and because of work. I think. Um, to be fair, originally Surge was going to be here because um, he has some other lure stuff that he's not. Um, taking off this week. Like, he's taking the week off of his home stream. Um, but when Uno said he couldn't make it, I was just like, I'll just rock it solo and you can just take the day off and actually, you know, enjoy your vacation. Is there any good rest areas in BC you gotta recommend? Uh, no, nah, I, uh, I have no idea. I mean, it really depends on, like, where you're coming from and what you're doing. Ah! I fell in a water hole. Five years, my condolences. Eh, I enjoyed my time at McDonald's. I mean, not every minute of it, but in general, I actually had a pretty good time working there. Certainly in the earlier days. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Ooh, has anyone else gotten the White Castle 100 Slider Pack? No. I have heard of that, though. Uh, no. The way I do water is I just use my sponges. So we're just gonna go get sponges. You can't remove it. You can't remove source blocks. You can't remove water with buckets. Um, because once they're a source block, you can't make them go away. Um, there are ways to do it. Um, like in the 1v1, obviously you don't get buckets and, oh, the pick health, you are correct. Thank you. Um, you can like, ch in, in the 1v1, you generally have to use like wood planks to make a checker pattern on one level. And then that way you can scoop up water or basically just make it so that the water doesn't create infinite sources because once the water is an infinite source, it doesn't matter how quickly you remove it, it just instantaneously becomes um, a source again, so. Uh, I bet you I can do this with six sponges. Maybe less, actually. Let's find out. Back to the pit. Question for you, James. How do I create a new lava source? You can't. Um, oh, I guess dripstone. Uh, dripstone would... Actually, yeah, that's not true. Yeah, dripstone now lets you do it. 
So this is the this is a way to make renewable lava now. Um, is if you have a lava, it, I don't even think it needs to be. F I think it can be flowing lava. Although some people said it can't be, but I actually don't know. If you put a if you put a lot, I mean, assume it's a lava source block. Let's just assume it has to be, because um, it probably does. A lava source block above a piece of dripstone. You'll see that you see how that's all dripping like this. This is how you can create infinite lava now. Um, I think if it's flowing lava, you'll still see those dripping particles, but it's not actually filling up the cauldron. That's that's how you do it. You can't like with water in Minecraft. You can take two buckets of water and make an infinite water source. You can't do that with lava. Um, you can't take two source bucket, like two buckets of lava, combine them in, you know, a, a one by three row like you can water and just instantaneously create never ending lava. Um, but this is the way that you can create lava from basically nothing, right? So this one lava source block is, you know, I can scoop this up and then it starts filling it up again. So this is the way that you can do it. Um, other than that, you basically just are scooping lava out of the, the nether. Uh, what's going on? I want to play the break so much. Yeah, none of that will work. I know the pick is, it's low. It's low. Um, thank you. Yeah, none of the, none of my home stream, um, sound effects are going to work. Because those are all baked into OBS. And I'm not using that scene. Or that profile. Or whatever it's called in OBS. I don't even know. Ah, no. I didn't ring the bell. Back to the pit. How many bits for you to turn it on, though? I don't know if I could easily turn... The problem is is that I would need to add that extension to the Lure account, which I don't want to do. I mean, here. you Look. I think I got... Look. Uh, there. I got that sound effect at the press of a button. Uh, anytime somebody gives me 500 bits, I'll play it. There you go. That's that's your sound effects. Oh no. Psh, I didn't even need Oh, I was so close. Oh no. Yo, bad panda bear. Thanks for the 49 month resub. I appreciate it. Yoink. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Um, I'm gonna cheat. Nobody tell nobody. I I I would have I would have probably lost the sponge if I didn't do that, and I don't really want to lose the sponge. Oh, son of a. <laughs> Quick, somebody tell Sarah. Sarah. Sarah is here. Does not care. Thank you. All right. Um, I need my Silk Touch pickaxe. I'd like to get this glass back. Carrot, carrot, silk, carrot, silk, carrot, silk. Back to the pit. All right. <laughs> hey, I'm drift. And uh, I mean, we. All right. Fifty. Long ways to go. 
let's not break this pickaxe because I will be sad. And I don't want to be sad. Thirty-six. <laughs> Mad World. I can't play Mad World. I can't. I can't play any music other than this playlist right now because everything is going out to the VOD. Sing it? No. Not a chance. I mean, getting the stream muted is not... I mean, it's kind of annoying. Don't get me wrong. That would be frustrating. It's less getting the stream muted and more playing copyright music and getting the channel hit with a copyright strike. <laughs> That's the bigger concern. Uh, 20. Twelve. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Ah! Fell down a hole. Two, one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Done. Wow, oh, can't remember the last time it went from three to one like that. I think the other pickaxe is... Oh, it's not. Oh. That's awkward. Is there any more glass? No, there's no more glass, so I can put some of this back. That glass can go away. That can go there. That can go there. There's three more glass? Okay, thank you. Then I will keep that pickaxe on me. Um, okay. Okay, that's not ideal. We've got enough, okay, good. Okay, good. That, 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 that. There we go. Rad Jack, welcome back for 28 months. Thank you, friend. Appreciate it. Okay, so that's good. And now we can go like this. And like that. And like that, and why not? Thank you. And like that, and now we need to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1555? God, I do need to really write this down. I think it's 1555. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 52. I think that's right. And then we need to go take all of these. And then uh, uh, over here, it's it's this row plus one, two, three, four, five, and then all of these go up here, and then the rest go in here, and these go here. And 
then unlock. And we're good. Cool. Now it's 15 stack 55. And then it's 7 stack 52 that goes in the right. And the remaining goes in the left with five buckets of lava here and seven buckets of lava here or six buckets here. Yeah, you don't have to be exact about it, but it is kind of nice. Yeah, everything here is everything you see is vanilla. Nothing is nothing is modded. This is a vanilla server. There's like little tweaks here and there, but the majority of them are um, um, everything is vanilla. Yo, Street Rage, thanks for the 500 bits. Good. Jube, Jube Gob. I said I'd play the sound. I'll play the sound. Um, cool. All right. Hey, ODH. It is a good system. Like, so this is all the cactus right here. So cactus um, is set up that if if it grows one, it will automatically break. It will get filtered. It'll drop down, ideally not getting caught on anything, but there is definitely some loss. Um, it'll get sent into that water chute and it'll get sent into the collection system over there. Uh, how many layers? I think this is... One, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven layers. Seven layers of 25. To be honest, I feel like I could actually use, like, one extra layer. Um, but this is pretty good. Copper wall is looking very good. Copper wall is good. All right, let's go. Back to the pit. Ow! I fell in the hole. Do these falls get counted on the home stream counters? I don't think so. Oh, they will? Right. Oh, yeah, you did. Right. I couldn't remember if last time we did this, um, they got counted or not. They do. Yeah, the falls get counted. I mean, are they actively getting counted? Like, right now, Sarah? Or do you do it later? I added them at the end of the last stream. Still track of them? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so like when when we did when we when I decided that I'd be rocking today's stream solo, I I definitely thought about doing some other stuff. Um But then I also didn't stream yesterday on my home channel. Um So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just come here and try to do a little bit of catch up with the chunk. Because this is like the top of the chunk, so it's like pretty straightforward, so. I love that there's so much infrastructure both in and out of game around digging some big holes. Yeah. I mean, you need a lot of stuff to make, you know, to make this happen. You need... I mean, you could you could do it in a way that doesn't require the infrastructure, but that's boring. It's fun, you know. I need a place to put all of these blocks, hence our giant storage system. Um, I need um, I need infinite amounts of XP to heal up my pickaxes. Um, oh, you know, it, theoretically, I could just make a pickaxe every time it breaks if I really wanted to. Although that would be miserable. But then, it, you know, like, at the same time, I also want to be, you know, playing Minecraft in certain ways, which is, you know, you make your little base area and stuff like that, so, I don't know. Huh. So you're saying we might not hit diamonds to bet? We are definitely not going to hit diamonds. 
There is zero chance we will hit. Um, yeah, no, there's zero chance we're gonna hit diamonds today. Not a single chance, sorry. I'm out of dollars from must have been Halo betting. Oh yeah, good old Halo. God, that game is so much fun with people. Why is there no chance of diamonds today? Because I'm way too high. I don't think I can make it low enough. I mean, maybe there's a chance, but like, uh, I'm at Y equals 52 right now, and diamonds don't start showing up until, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just super high right now. Um, diamonds don't start showing up until, like, Y equals 16, so it's just a lot of layers, and we only have so much time. Uh, more water, I see. More water! Neat. Why are we doing PAC during MOC? Uh, Serge is on vacation. Uno's busy with work. I thought about doing other stuff, but why would I do other stuff when I can just hang out and dig a hole? You know? Why would I do it? I thought about trying one of those escape rooms, but eh. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered. I was like, this is ready to go. I have, there's zero setup required for this. And I was just like, that seems nice. I thought this would be nice and chill. And it is. It is nice and chill. Uh, I need more glass. Wait. Uh, no, I definitely need more glass. I was like, ooh, I have some glass, but this is not enough glass. And I need sponges, too. Like, I also thought about doing parkour again, but I already taken that server down to get the, um... Ocean monu or ocean block server up and running. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna assume ten's enough. Oh, I need to put these emeralds away. Pardon me. Um. Back to the pit. Is Ocean Block confirmed as the next full team MOC series? Yeah. What's my current objective? Dig a hole. Dig out this chunk. Um, yeah. Currently, Ocean Block, I mean, nothing's set in stone. Like, if we get in, I mean, I have a pretty good idea of what the mod pack is like. Surge definitely has an idea of what the mod pack is like because he recently completed a playthrough on his home stream um, last year. So we have an idea of like what is going to be required. So I think it'll work just fine. But, you know, that isn't to say we can't just be like, hey, you know what? We're good. Uh, I'm going to actually do... Uh, no. I'm just going to go like that.
So we're going to start that next week. Again, that that was the plan for this week, um, but when Uno said he couldn't make it, and Surge was definitely going to be here today, but um, when it was clear that Uno couldn't make it, I was just like, eh, Surge, just take the day off. I'll, I'll just dig a hole. Enjoy your vacation. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. So what's everybody up to today? Ah, I fell down a hole. I fell down a very short hole. I mean, I assume the answer for a lot of people is just working. Breakfast and tea? Oh, well, that just sounds lovely. Building cool thing is in Valheim? I never did play Valheim. Just finished a session of plain vanilla MC with a friend. I work at night. Nice. Trying to code with nine fingers. The tenth one is in a splint. That sounds like it'd be annoying. I'm sitting and watching this. Excellent choice. Procrastinating university work. Beautiful. Although you should probably do your work. Not paying attention in a meeting I have nothing to contribute to. Ah, uh, excellent. I think meetings are the one thing that would probably just kill me in terms of, like, if I ever had to move into a corporate job. I just don't think I could do it. I think I would just be like, no, nope, I'm good. Ooh, getting psyched up about your, fri about your birthday on Friday? Heck yeah. Happy early birthday. Enjoying a two-week do-nothing holiday. That sounds nice. Don't you have alert meetings? Yeah, but, like, we don't have many of them, and they're all, like, pretty similar, you know? Like, our meetings are, like, we have a monthly meeting that's always basically the same. You know, we have our Loading Ready Live meetings, which are very similar. We have our writing meetings, you know, uh, and then we have, you know, other various meetings here and there about, you know, various topics, but they're never, you know... You're never in a meeting, you're very rarely in a meeting that you shouldn't be at, right? Is I guess what I'm saying? They also happen pretty rarely, you know, like it's not like, it's not like in a week we have a few meetings. It's like in a month we have a few meetings. And I hear about corporate jobs where it's just like people are just jumping from meeting to meeting to meeting to meeting. And I'm like, how, when, how do you, when do you work? How do you, when do you, how do you work, how do you, how do you do your job? It just sounds like your job is be in meetings. <laughs> Spoiler, we don't work. Good question, next question. Yeah, so it's just like, I just, yeah, I couldn't imagine. I mean, this is also coming from a, you know, 38-year-old who's never worked in a corporate setting, right? I've 
just never done it. I haven't barely, I've, I haven't even really ever worked in just an a, a office setting, like a traditional office setting. So. I can tell you, James, meetings suck, and I do my best to avoid them. Fair. All right. Uh, boop. No! Oh, you suck. Uh, no, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. It's true, I can use a bucket for that one. Putting in a wet sponge would work. Yeah, that feels like cheating, though. I'm just gonna use a bucket. I should dry off all these sponges, though. I can put this pickaxe back. Oopsies. We did it. We did it. We're the best. How full up on cobble is that sorter now? I actually don't know. I haven't checked. We could check though. Probably getting like, I mean, it's getting up there. I mean, we have seven, we have the equivalent of Probably 85 double chests worth of storage between all of the double chests and hoppers. Because when you start getting to that many hoppers, it starts to add up, right? Like, you actually have, to, have to, to think about the amount of storage that the hoppers allow you as well, which is kind of interesting, right? So we we have a a, tr a pretty solid amount of of storage that I think will last us a while. I don't know if it will last us for the entire project. It sure would be nice if it did, but my hope is that <clears throat> when 119 comes back and people start playing on the server again, that um there will be another bit of a demand for stuff like cobble and deep slate. Which means we can, because the problem is, is that like we're not selling anything anymore. Like Eric and I, we opened a um, a cobble and deep slate shop because obviously we are going to be making a lot of it, and it did very well. But then everybody, you know, has more or less stopped playing on the server, which fair. Um, but hopefully, when they come back for 119, it'll be like, hey, I need cobble again, and then I can start selling it. Which would be great. Which would be great. Each double chest gives you space for 54 stacks and each hopper gives you room for five stacks. Yep. Can you use a water source to refill a punch chunk? I don't quite know what you mean by that. Fuck. 
flood. I mean, do you just mean flood it? I mean, it, you could. I don't want to, but you could. I mean, at some point, it could be fun to make a uh, a chunk that is entirely filled with water. Although, I guess, how would you do that, right? Um, would you fill it from the bottom up, or would you put a, a layer just at the very top, fill it with water, and let it flow down? Probably that way. Yeah, the second one would definitely be significantly easier, but it would mean that it's not source. It would mean 256 flowing blocks of of water, no? Would that not be what that would, would lead to? That seems like it would be not great for performance. Or would they all turn into sources? I guess they would, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. They would all turn into source blocks, right? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we could try to do that one day. Could be kind of interesting. I like the idea of a full, oh god, a full 16, a full chunk eleva Bubba elevator would be actually kind of funny, actually. Instead of just a single block column, you make, just, you just punch two chunks and you turn one into a pull and one into a push. That'd be pretty funny, actually. Oh my god, why am I tired? Stop yawning. Sounds like it's time for more coffee. Uh, I've already had coffee. I don't really need more coffee. More sleep? That's probably not the worst idea. I definitely stayed up too late last night. Listen to a pretty good interview with actually... What did I listen to last night? I listened to a recent episode of... I can't remember what her podcast is called, but it's Kara Swish Swish Swishers. How do you pronounce it? Is that how you say her last name? Kara Swisher? No, I'm curious. The tech blogger. Sway. It's called Sway. It's a podcast. Um, I listened to an interview she did with Andrew Garfield. Um, and, um, man, that guy is super cool. Uh, and it, it, I listened to that entire podcast with the knowledge that he is he is only nine weeks older than me, and uh, it made me feel like completely complete trash. <laughs> uh, I was just listening to this, being like, "This man is so articulate and brilliant and well spoken, 
that he's just nine weeks older than I am. It hurt my brain. It was a very good interview, though. I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it if you're curious. Wait until you get that with people younger than yourself? That doesn't bother me as much, right? I... It, it's, it's people who are younger than me who are brilliant and, and just so well, so well spoken and just successful. That doesn't bother me as much as the guy who's like, we're basically, we're the same, like we would have gone to school at the same time, right? Like we gra he graduated the same year I did. The, the, you know, it's just, and it doesn't actually bother me. Like I'm not actually upset, but it was just like, wow, this guy is smart. <laughs> Either way, good episode. Recommend. Also, I don't think I've talked about it here. Um, I know I've talked about it on my home stream, but I uh, highly recommend everybody check out the podcast Dead Eyes. Um, it's very good, and I think a lot of I think everybody should give it a chance and listen to it because it's real good. called dead eyes one two words not one word and it is without question my my new favorite thing Lin-Manuel Miranda is the same age as as, uh, as me I feel ya yeah damn talented cool people <laughs> Listening and just started season two. Also, strongly recommend. Heck yeah. And I'm full. Don't overeat. Boom, 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 boom. That's a lot of copper. And ka-chunk. And one, two, three, four, five. We've got enough. Let's go. One. No. Oh. Two, three, four, five. Sleep. I wonder how many glowing sacks are in the overflow for the storage now. I don't know. Let's go find out. To the pit. Sleep. 
Still haven't decorated, I see? No. This is so low on my list of things to do. It's also just a lot of work, and I have no idea what I would want to do. Is that a netherite block elevator? Yep! They're not mine, though. They're Surge's. And I'm not allowed to keep them or use them or touch them. The answer is zero glow ink. It's not my flex. Blame Surge. He's the one who built it. I mean, he was flexing, clearly. Okay, so somebody was asking about cobble. So that's full. That's full. That's going to be full. That's full. That one's full. Uh, let's take some dirt here for a second. Let's see how high up this goes. Full, 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 not full. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine double chests left. I mean, almost ten, because this one's definitely not quite there yet. And then, obviously, because, like, you gotta count this, right? That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So, you know, they, they kind of catch up. Um, cool. Presumably this is about the same. Oh yeah, that's a good question. How much is in this one? Oh, that's full. Oh, wow. All right, that one's already full. This one should be completely empty. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's got two in it. That's fine. We got a ways to go. This is definitely going to give us room to go. Oh. We did it! Back to the pit. Shame they haven't invented faster elevator tech yet. I mean, they have. Bubble elevators are significantly faster than that thing, but those are way, way more fun. Whoopsies. Fun fact, I ran the numbers on this a few months ago, and there's one faster way to do an up elevator than using a bell elevator, and that's portals. Yeah, I'd believe that. Ooh, ender pearl suspension. Yeah, that's true. make the whole shaft out of netherite. That would be absurd. I mean, at some point, I think I'd like to do a full netherite beacon project. I think that would be fun. Um, I just don't know. Yeah. No, 
<laughs> we do have a lot of beds. So you're not wrong. Not not near enough though. You could do it all in nether rack. That would be I do like that, yeah. Um It would be interesting to do it. I mean I wouldn't do it with beds, you would do it with dynamite or TNT. Don't know why I said dynamite. Um yeah, it took Pix Pixel Rifts about, f I think, yeah, four months of, like, a lot of work to do it. So. It would be interesting. I'd be curious to know how long it would like if Surge and Uno and I did it. If that was if that became our project Tuesday mornings, you know, uh, how long would it take the three of us to to do it? And what's the best way to do it? Right, like we would need a steady source. We would like the first thing we would need to do is um, build a gunpowder we need to build a creeper farm and a really good one and then we would need to uh collect basically all of we would need to punch an entire giant desert so that'd be interesting you know is there a way to farm sand no sand is not renewable you'd have to you just have to dig it All about those raid farms now for gunpowder. That's true. Raid farm is very good for gunpowder. Plus then you get the added bonus of emeralds and redstone, I guess. And totems, but for the purpose of our project. I mean, I guess totems wouldn't be the worst thing. You Have a steady. You just don't even care about the staying super safe. You just, you know. Yeah, there's other ways. I mean, yeah, you could get wandering trader for sand. Yeah. I don't know. Be interesting. Too bad a raid farm never happened this season. I mean, like, we talked about doing one, but then it was just like, w w but why? You know, like, <laughs> nobody was playing on the server anymore, so it just kind of didn't make a lot of sense to build another farm. Uh, Reese, welcome back for two years. Thank you, friend. Um, yeah, it just, it was just like, eh. Why bother? We we're also going to make a very, like, bare-bones one. Um, which is, like, less appealing to me from a stream perspective. Like, I think it, it made sense when we made, like, the Wither Rose farm, you know? Um, that, that was fun and, and pretty easy. Um, but, I don't know, I just, I really liked when we were making farms that were... Generally, like, a, a fairly straightforward build, but then we kind of had fun with the, the decoration of it. Like, I loved our raid farm from the last time we made one. It just didn't work very well, which sucked. I loved the, the concept, and it would be really cool if we could make it work. Um, 
And like the witch farm was sweet as well. You know, building that witch farm was a lot of fun. Yeah, I know that you can dupe sand, but I mean, that's, I don't know. I'm not, if we're, if we're, you know, if we're going to do something like that, you know, the challenge is partially collecting the resources that you need, right? Like if we're going to dupe it, just, I mean, just creative mode, give me all the sand, right? Like, or at that point, just creative mode, give me all the dynamite. So... I learned today that full bees will make crops grow faster. Yeah. Um, it's a neat mechanic that I don't see get used too often. Um, but you can definitely supercharge crops um, if you also have bee farms set up in a way that the bees will have to travel over top of the farm um, from their hive or their bee box to the flowers. Um, it's super neat. It's a it's a cool mechanic that I yeah I you, I don't feel like I see used super often. Um, but I do like it. One of the hermits used it for a wheat farm. Yeah, it was Tango. Tango did that. This is probably a stupid question, but can bees be bred and wrangled? Yes, they can. I need to make an XP farm. I mean, I I legitimately think the cactus one is kind of neat and fairly easy to do. Um, and it's, it's passive, which is neat, especially if you're sort of hanging around the same area. Um... It's not the, it's certainly not the best or most efficient, but it's neat. It's also nice if you need a lot of green dye, it's true. I mean, honestly, villager trading is also a, just another way to, to do um, ridiculous amounts of XP if you want. Is there a plan? Yeah, there's a plan. Dig holes. In a particular shape. You need to go to the nether to get stuff to make a farm, right? Uh, well, it depends on what kind of farm you're talking about. Village Trading Hall is the most busted XP farm, especially when you go in the hole curing them, but it takes a lot of time. Yeah, it's interesting. It's funny because, you know, I've been watching the Hermits play in the early stages of, of this new season, and they, you know, often talk about how completely busted villager trading is. But at the same time, I, I, I can't imagine that even, you know, 5% of people who play Minecraft um, take f as full advantage of the villager trading mechanic as they can. Like, I, I just, I just don't think that that's a thing that a lot most people are doing. Which is probably why it's not a, it's a massive concern about it being too overpowered. Because it's like, yeah, of course, you know, y'all who play this game for a living, who are able to spend you know, your 40 plus hour work week 
at making it happen, of course you're going to make use of this. But, like, the average, you know, 11-year-old kid playing at home <laughs> is probably not doing that. Uh, Rake! Welcome back for 87 months. Thank you, friends. I mean, it's an interesting... I mean, it's like kind of the same with a lot of games in terms of, you know, the, the world that we live in when it comes to streaming and YouTube and stuff like that is that, you know, you're, you're exposed to this unrealistic high level of play that, you know, your average gamer doesn't even come close to but it sort of becomes the standard in your mind for how you assume a lot of people play these games when in reality that's just not true you know like you watch Hermitcraft and you think oh everybody playing Minecraft can build like this and have bases that are, you know, tens of thousands of blocks large and you've got, so it's like, no, that's, that's not how, that's not how average person plays, but you get in the sense, you get in the sort of mindset that that is. It's the same for mo a lot of games too, right? You know, it's interesting. I don't know. And then it, and then because of because of the way that that's how a lot of people interact with the game online, that becomes how a lot of people discuss. I mean, Magic is another perfect perfect example, right? I mean, the folks at WotC will be the first to tell you that the majority of people who play Magic don't play Magic like you know Reddit plays Magic <laughs> or streamers play Magic. They're at home, they're slinging cards at their kitchen table. They don't know what a format is. They're just having fun with the cards. Um, but, you know, because we live in a world of Twitter and Reddit and streaming, you know, we see how it's just, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, uh, how do I say this name? Crab Bri by Rat. Crab Buyer Rat. 100. I am almost certainly screwed that up. 50 bets. 50. Gold farm is the best way to get XP fast, and you also get gold for stuff like bartering and for blocks, for beacons, and you should make a tunnel bore or world eater for netherite. Alright. Dumb question time. Do you make new mines to find diamonds or just extend the ones you have? I, I'd kind of go either way, honestly. Like, when I'm playing Minecraft, like, again, I'm not playing Minecraft like a normal person right now. I'm digging gigantic holes. This is dumb. Don't do this. Um, if I'm actively looking for diamonds, I mean, it's one of those things I'll get in my head and think, um, crab ear art. Or crab ire. Anyways. Uh, I'll go down and I'll dig around and if you know, I do 30 minutes and I found like no diamonds. I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to go a far ways away. It, you should probably just, I mean, unless you're in a single player world, if you're playing on the server, you know, stick, stick to your area. Don't continue to like expand the world and make the server slower and slower and slower. But yeah, the actual answer is I probably just stay in the same spot. And I just change directions. Back to the pit. Cool bow. Cool arrow. Cool bone. I don't want any of this, but I'm going to take it because I picked it up. Wee! 
Do you use vanilla tweaks? I do. I have a handful of vanilla tweaks. I have 3D ladders. I have 3D sugar cane. I have dark mode. I have quiet portals. I have some other things. I don't remember what else I have installed. Ooh. I also have Optifine, but that's not technically vanilla tweaks. But yes, I do have Optifine. Oh, coordinate HUD, that's true. Yep, the coordinate HUD thing right there, that's a vanilla tweak. Enderman griefing is, yep, Enderman griefing, double shulker. Um, yeah, some other stuff, I'm sure. Player heads, that's true, yep, player heads is installed on the server as well. Spawn radius, yep. I mean, the answer to does everybody here watch Hermitcraft is almost certainly no, but I know a lot of people do. What was the thing y'all used to to know where to place? Yeah, that was the uh, the spawn radius thing. I'd never heard of Hermitcraft until watching yours and Surge's streams more recently. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I think Surge, both Surge and I have been watching Hermitcraft, whoopsies, for... I mean, a while now, honestly. I think I started watching Hermitcraft in Season 5? Maybe the very tail end of Season 4? is when I started watching Hermitcraft. Are you freaking kidding me? There's more water? Oh, there's a lot more water. Oh, this is so much water. Oh, there's a big thing of water here. <laughs> Oh, Decked Out is incredible. I'm so excited to see what Tango does for Decked Out 2. Like, really excited to see what he does for, uh, for Decked Out 2. I think I started watching Heartcraft when he did the Season 7 World Tour on MOC. Nice. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, if you're looking for more Minecraft content in your life, I would I would recommend checking out some Hermitcraft. Hope Tango uses the Warden for Decked Out 2 when it comes out. That would be amazing. I think that's what he said. I think he has said as much that he will not be building Decked Out 2 until um, 119 is actually out. So. Uh, all right. Let's get back up here, drop our stuff off, and then we are going to take a uh, quick break here. Uh, 
Um, okay, this is annoying me. I don't know why I have... No, Hermitcraft is not like Dream, in my opinion. I don't think so. That being said, I also have watched basically almost zero Dream. So, I mean, maybe I'm speaking incorrectly. But as far as I know, my, my assumption is no, it is not. All right, um... Ow. Watched one and it was a lot of screaming? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, all right, friends. Uh, I just realized I'm, you're not going to see this anyway. It's gonna, I'm going to go to the break screen and uh, you won't see it, so that's fine. Um, yeah, hold tight. I'm going to just take a quick three-minute break. Get up, stretch, grab yourselves a glass of water, hit the washroom, do whatever you need to do, uh, and we'll be right back. Uh, don't go anywhere. Fuck. Oh. oh, no. Oh no! Oh, that's so. Oh, you suck. Why did I think that was a good idea? Oh, hi. Um. Okay. Well, the good news is the only thing I lost was all those levels, which, to be honest, I don't really actually care about, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, you're, you're, for bye. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, we can get more levels. Um, I didn't even think about it. Like, I, I, I didn't think that I would get hit by a spider up there. I figured I'd be safe. But I guess a spider climbed cl like climbed all the way up and just hit me off. Which rude. Um also I it got some some peanut butter toast. So one moment. There's also a dog sitting there, staring at me. All right, Chad, it's up to you. Do I give the dog some peanut butter toast? Wow, some of you are monsters. Good lord. <clears throat> Never feed pets people food? Please. Please. I don't think there's a goddamn human on the planet who ever follows that rule to a T. Oh, 
Oh, feel off. Never mind. She came back. I don't think there's anything up here. No. Anyways, she got a tiny piece of peanut butter toast. Deal with it. Deal with it. My wife, the vet, follows the no people food rule. Uh, all right, let's go. How's the copper wall coming along? Uh, I mean, good, I guess. Oh, well, I mean, we don't give Jade that much people food. <clears throat> Back to the pit. Oops, I need sponges. Uh, five should be enough. Back to Just to be clear, food consumed by people, not food, you know, made of... Oh, no. Well, I mean, she obviously eats human flesh every day, but... I mean, that's just... That's just what dogs eat. You don't... Yeah. Ovs. I'm not a monster. Obviously, I give my dog human flesh on the day today. <laughs> what a weird person to choose for that joke, Basquala. We haven't seen Tim for a while. <laughs> uh... What a what a what an odd choice. I mean, that's funny, but I just Timbits have a whole new meeting. Ah, yo, well played. Ah, Timbits. Now I want a donut. Ah. What's in here, by the way? Stuck. Just get up. Boop. Ooh. It's over here. Ooh. Hey, it's another one of my holes. How is Tim, anyways? I don't know. I haven't talked to Tim for a very long time. It's been years since I talked to Tim. Actual, literal years since I talked to Tim. I think the last time I would have seen Tim was for the season 11 finale. I would think. So eight years ago? Good lord. And he had been gone for a few years prior to that. It's kind of wild, actually.
Tim is kind of an anomaly in the in the the history of loading ready run, right? Like when he joined, um, you know, it was very much like we we had a group of us. <clears throat> we had sort of solidified ourselves as this comedy group, um, the sketch comedy group, and then Tim came along and and just sort of became a part of it for a few years. Um, and, like, just a very different kind of person. Not in, like, a bad way or anything, but just, like, you know, in terms of, of you know, of just how he lived his life. Just kind of a different dude. Which is always... It's been weird. It's cool. And he just kind of came in, did his thing for a few years, and then he was gone. the pit <laughs> wasn't he wasn't he the one that left in a commoner hustle because he realized everyone in lure were bad people I think yeah that was kind of part of it <laughs> you're bad people That was a good joke. Right, he looks around the room and sees us all doing like weird, stupid stuff. That's funny. The fact that that was so long ago, too. James, I have a blizzard now. Hell yeah. What kind you get? We have ice cream. Hey, wizard. Choco strawberry. Nice. Excellent choice. Um, yeah, I think it's mostly weird just because of how long ago that... God... We're very old. How have we been doing this for so long? I don't understand. Lur is 19 years old this year. It pays the bills? Yeah, but it didn't for a very long time. <laughs> That's the thing. It didn't for a very long time. Yeah, Lur, I mean, Lur turns legal drinking age in BC this year, right? 19 is the legal drinking age. So, somebody somebody born the day that Lur started will be able to legally have their first drink this October. about the 90s. God, the 90s were great. I do stand by that the 90s were a pretty ridiculously cool time to grow up as a kid. I think we were pretty lucky. I think the world was at a pretty relative ease through the 90s. Which I, I couldn't appreciate at the time. 
um, but can look back now and think, God, I, I had it pretty lucky. Like, Music was dope, it's true. There was no internet yet, or once there was, it was nothing like what we have now. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool decade. Nineties were great because I was, yeah, exactly. I mean, the nineties were also great because I was a freaking child, right? I mean, I'm sure that you know it wasn't all roses and freaking strawberries, and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I couldn't imagine being that age now. Just think about trying to date or make friends in the air if social media gives me hives. I mean, yeah, like, certainly dating. I mean, I'm good. Um, but... Yeah, Napster was late 99. I remember it was Halloween. It was, Hall it was literally October 31st, uh, 1999. I remember that. I'm just. Because it was Halloween, I remember the day I was introduced to Napster by my friend Ryan. And it, like, it was game changing. Game changing.
Boop. Ooh, we got a whole bunch more copper. Kappa. Wow. The amount of copper in this game now is kind of ludicrous. I actually don't know if I like how just how much copper there is. <laughs> I think maybe it might be a lot. I don't know. I don't know. It's just so much. Two, three, four, five. Kappa. Uh, let's go to bed. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. We could use all the copper to decorate the elevator shaft. It's true. We could do that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure we're oh crap. I'm sure we're gonna find a use for the copper. I just I don't know what it is yet. I mean for now it's this gigantic ass wall. <laughs> it's a gigantic wall. And maybe that's all it ever will be. Maybe this is all the copper ever will be. Just an ever growing, ever expanding I mean, we will eventually hit build limit with the amount of copper we find, right? Like To the pit. Ooh. Hello, friends. Blow up right there. Thank you. Was living in the dorms on a tech campus, and we had the intra network file share that the campus allowed to minimize exterior bandwidth problems. Cool. There is a ge yeah, it's true. There is an achievement at Minecraft now to to fall from the very top of the world to the very bottom of the world and survive. Actually, I don't even. Do you even need to survive? No. Yeah, you do need to survive, right? I can't remember if you just need to make the fall or if you need to actually survive. You do need to survive? Okay. I mean, that's easy enough to do. You just jump in a thing of water. I suppose you could try to MLG it, but... There's also an achievement for trading with a villager at build limit. That one is weird. I don't quite understand why that one is. I don't quite understand why that's an achievement, but eh. I've heard that many times now. What does MLG stand for? Major League Gaming. At least that's my understanding. The idea being that you're doing something that like a professional would do. Right? Like this is super MLG because only a major league gamer would be able to do this. I mean, we lost all those levels. We could try it today. See how we do.
Would a wandering trader count for trading a build limit? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we're at, yeah, we've got an hour left and we're at 27. So, I mean, we might get down to diamond level actually, but I don't think we're gonna get too much far past it. So I suppose we could say it's possible we could find diamonds today now, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We're making good progress. I think we've done about 30 layers. So we should be able to get down to about Y equals 10 at this rate. So, I mean, that's not bad. Can you show me your cactus farm before you log out? Yep. Wandering trader came to my village, and when I was in the menu looking at his stuff, a creeper blew us both up. But now I have cool leads. Poor llamas. All right. Realize that we lost the squids that were in here, which makes me kind of sad. They probably just despawned. I don't think they died. I mean, they could have died, but I think they probably just despawned. Can you name squids? Yep. Which is what I should have done a while ago. Whoopsies. Whoops. <laughs> Yawn. All right, well, the good news is, is now I'm just kind of tired and no longer tired and hungry. So that's nice. I, for one, am pro food. Nice. Yeah, I think after I'm done, I will be eating some lunch, going to the gym, grocery shopping, and then come home and do some more work. It'll be a good afternoon. A good afternoon of, 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 things and stuff. <laughs> It'll be a rich full day. And then 
I'll watch some TV tonight. And all will be right with the world. Did you see yesterday's crossing the streams? It was goddamn hilarious. I didn't. I heard it was good, though. Which is good, because... I wasn't entirely sure what that game was, but it sounds like people really enjoyed it, so uh, I'm glad. Yesterday's CTS was great. Awesome. Amazing. Awesome. And I'll say this. There are very, very, very few things that have come out of this pandemic uh, that I can look at positively, but the the the... The comeback of CTS in this format, uh, I think, works really well, uh, and I'm excited to keep doing it, so. I mean, yeah, that one particularly would probably work better for couch co-op, but overall, CTS is, has, I think, really found its stride with the uh, everybody-at-home format, and that's something we can keep doing, even though we are, you know, getting back into the office for most things these days. So what the heck is this giant ex excavation about? Mostly because I wanna. No real reason. It's about making a hole. It's about sending a message. I don't know who's that, who, who, what message we're sending and to whom, but that's what it's about. And if I didn't do it, somebody else would. Uh, what were, what was I going to get? I feel like I was going to get something while I was up here. I feel like I was going to do something. I can't remember what I was going to do. I can show you. Yeah, I can show you the farm. So the way that the farm works, I mean, to be honest, it's like, so... You really only need to just pay attention to one layer because it literally just is a repeating pattern. So the way that that cactus farm works is you've got you've got a sand on top of a. Th this is a half slab only because I th I liked how it looked. These do not need to be half slabs, but they can be. It's up to you. So you need a block, and on top of that block, you need to have a piece of sand. And on top of that piece of sand, you need to plant a cactus. And then what you need to do is you can see how there are glass panes um, every other block, or between every two cactuses. So there's like a glass pane there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. And what that does is it, if if a, gac if a cactus tries to grow, either this cactus or this cactus tries to grow, that glass fence or that that glass pane, which can be a fence post as well, it doesn't have to be glass panes. I just like the the way that they looked, will prevent it from growing, but it will still grow, and it will automatically break. And then you want to have a, a water collection system down below. So uh, to catch all of the broken cactus and you can basically this scales as big as you want to go right like this is a five by five grid you could make this 10 by 10 or a hundred by a hundred if you want right um mine is just built like this because i wanted it to fit in the chunk you know you do not need to 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 sort of uh, enforce that upon yourself. You can make it as big or as small as you want. You can stack it as big or as small as you want. Now, the only problem with stacking it is that there is an opportunity for loss, either with cactus getting stuck on um, on the sand or on the uh, glass panes, but also there's an opportunity for a cactus to fall and actually hit another cactus on the way down and and 
basically get deleted. So this is not lossless, but there are ways to make it very close to lossless. Um, and that's it. And then you just smelt the cactus. Like there's no other, there's no real automation between that. It's just put the cactus in a furnace and smelt it. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then the way, yeah, the smelting works is you just smelt it up. And the, the best way to do that is probably by creating a few of these. Because um, one bucket of lava will smelt 100 items. Yeah, the limiting factor is going to be coal. But that's why you do something like this. So you basically have unlimited uh, fuel. If you can set up a couple of these, then you're good to go. Because you can just start constantly be making um, a bucket of lava. And I said, you know, one piece of coal smells eight pieces of cactus in this sense. But one bucket of lava will smell um, 100 cactus, which is over a stack and a half, right? Like, it's a lot of cactus. It does also give you green dye, which you can trade to villagers, but it's a hard trade to get, so it's not really something I would bank on. Back to the pit. Uh, Greg, welcome back for 15 months. Appreciate it. Ow. Uh, block of coal is slightly more efficient than raw coal. I I don't know, but I don't think so. I think it is the same. You get ten burns for your. Oh, do you? Is it? Oh, you do. You okay? So it is I? It's a tiny bit more efficient. Interesting. Okay. A block of coal smelts like ten pieces of. Coal. Yeah, so eighty items for nine coal, not seventy two. Interesting. Yeah, I, I know you've said that before, Shivam. Charcoal is pretty good. If you can, yeah, if you can make charcoal. It's definitely an easier thing to get just because you just basically... Are you freaking kidding me with this, all, all this water? So much freaking water! Uh, yeah. Charcoal is pretty sweet. It's definitely not something I use very often, but it is pretty cool. This chunk is moist. Moist.
There's apparently a bug in currently in Minecraft that allows you to use nether bricks as fuel. Interesting. Okie dokie, back we go. Y'all, I'm so happy it's supposed to be 19 degrees Celsius today. That's a good temperature. That's a good temperature. Summer is here? You're a little, little, you're about three months early, but okay. Oh God, I almost fell down that hole. Dear God. Boop, 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 do, 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 More copper. More copper. Why didn't I do this as I went? We'll never know. What is the pre-sponge technique of getting rid of water, source blocks, and a chunk going to do it on a new server? Checkerboard pattern. With wood planks. Uh, or you could, like, sand and gravel it if you wanted to. I mean, it's really up to you. If you want to sort of stay a little bit more true to the, the 1v1 rules, then a checkerboard pattern using um, logs, or not logs, planks, is the way to go. What am I doing here? I'm digging a hole. Back to the pit. I'm digging lots of holes. I'm digging out entire chunks worth of holes. Yeah, the it's true actually. The original plan for PAC was filling it with planks and then throwing those away. Um, I guess if you don't have a bucket, then that's still kind of your go-to, right? What am I doing? There's, so, there's so, just a much faster way down here. MLG'd. I was waiting for James to miss that jump. Please. I am among the world's greatest Minecraft players. The sooner the world recognizes my significant skill in this game, the better off we'll all be. Not in any meaningful way, of course. Mostly just for my own ego.
Let's go. All right, down to 20. 12, 22, huh? I mean, we're going to hit diamond level. Whether or not we find any is obviously going to be up for uh, is anyone's guess, but you never know. I definitely have gotten further than I thought I was going to. That's nice. We could do a prediction. And we probably will. You'd be surprised how many famous James Turners there are. Surge recently found one that publishes books on project management. I would argue that that James Turner in particular is not all that famous. <laughs> I'm just going to go on a limb. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going to guess not so much. Uh, what does wall water get blue glass, but wall lava just get signs? Oh, I, I don't know, just old habit. We've done, we've done the orange glass. We did season one and a half. We did orange glass instead of signs. I just like signs. I think it's kind of a neat, I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. More or less famous than you, genuinely, who has more reach? I don't know. I mean, you you can try to find out. I'd like to think... I, I, I would be... I think it's probably me, maybe, but I don't know. It's also just kind of hard to judge reach. Like, what is my reach? What are you basing that off of? Oh, somebody just fired up her prediction. Will I find diamonds? There's no chance that I'm going to uncover any here, so I'm safe to keep digging. So, uh, by all means, get your get your bets in. Reach is based on whether you can block flying creatures. <laughs> That has reach? Do wall diamonds count? Yeah, I still found them. Pulls not for does James mine diamonds. It just says, will James find diamonds? <laughs> Goes to bottom. Storage elevator. Found him! No, that doesn't count. Whee! Oh. Someone tried to Google James Turner on a clean computer and see what order they show up? Uh, no, I haven't actually. I guarantee you I'm not anywhere near the top though. It's a very common name. Like, James Turner is an incredibly common name. Wait, I'd guess you you wait. I'd guess you have more reach than project manager James Turner. His book is over a million. What do you hold on? His book is over a million in the sales list. What does that mean? I need to keep digging. You, you like as in a rank? Like you're yeah. Like he hasn't cracked the top million? That would make sense. 
One million books are selling better than his book. Okay, then yeah. I mean, there's a real test. Maybe I should write a book. And see if I can crack that top million. I'll call it My Life in the Pit. Uh, and it'll be all about how to dig a hole in Minecraft. It's going to be a great book. Private Mode DuckDuckGo says James Turner Prime is a different gaming YouTube. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, like James Turner is in, I think he's Australian, right? It's an Australian primarily, or used to be primarily, Sims uh, YouTuber. Um, so I think he's doing pretty well for himself. And yeah, that is where the joke comes from. It's true. One of my friends just announced his MC book with Mojang. Maybe you could write the forward. Heck yeah. Gimme, gimme. Is there more than... Sponge. The real question is, do these James Turners get to join the League of Extraordinary Jameses? You know what? If if either of those James, if any of those James Turners joins the Loading Ready Run Discord, um, I will give them access to that role. I will need to change how that role works um, because it comes with way more power than they need. But you know what? That's fine. We'll we'll change it. We'll, we'll, we'll mess it around with it a little bit. All right, so we should be at a spot where we could theoretically start finding diamonds. Trahas, no, that's uh, it's not me. It's not me, man. It's not me. It's not me. All right, twenty more, and then we're out. Okay, and we can get a little bit more diorite here. search for James Turner wife and you showed up on page one. All right. Don't know what to tell you.
Okay, we are officially out of sponges. I need to dry off the sponges, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm sure it'll be fine. We can get more later. Son of a... Back to the pit. Gonna need to start blocking the lapis soon. We can start turning it into blue dye and turning our green dye and blue dye into cyan dye and then trading the cyan dye. So we have some we have some options for what we can do with the blue with the lapis. Yeah, durability is almost gone. I mean we've done a lot of digging today. We're down we're we've done about 40 layers today. And the pick that we started with was already pretty low, so. What do we got? Just under an half an hour left? We're actually way further down than I thought we were going to be. I'm not going to lie. I did not think we would make it this low. Why are we never this efficient on your home stream? There are some days we are. Get this pick down to one, and then we will be able to pick up our other pick and come back down and crush out a few more layers. We should be able to get to um, to deep slate, honestly. Maybe not full deep slate, but a lot of it. What's up, Ash Hammy? Um. What's coming up on the on the on the channel for the rest of the week? Let's see if I can do this from uh, from memory. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Um, talking sim. Uh, right after this is Cameron and Corey, and I believe they're going to be playing Disco Elysium. And then tonight on Let's Nope, Adam and Ben will continue their playthrough of Bloodborne. Uh, tomorrow morning at nine thirty is the continuation of Play It Forward with Adam and Wheeler and the arguably game of the year, Elden Ring. Uh, and then in the afternoon, it's garbage day. So, oh man, I didn't bring, dang it. Uh, it'll be Graham and Alex in for watch and play. Uh, Wednesday night is Crossing the Streams. Um, I think it's... Me, Ian, Ben, and Wheeler, maybe? I can't remember who the fourth is. And we're playing a game called S Steampunk Rally, uh, which looks pretty fun. So I'm excited for that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Six, five, four. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Done. Um. Yeah, so that's Wednesday night. Thursday. Uh, it'll be Lure MTG in the afternoon with Adam and I, and then in the evening, it'll be Cameron and Ian and Graham playing some Destiny 2 on the long game. Didero, welcome to the channel. Thanks to Beowulf. Thank you, Beowulf, for gifting that sub. Appreciate it. Uh, Friday morning will be some more Play It Forward. More Elden Ring. Friday afternoon, we've got Chill Point, and then Friday night is the... Friday Night Paper Fight, um, and it is the return of Canadian Highlander, which I know um, the four 
guys playing Canadian Highlander are excited or about. So that's going to be um, Serge, Wheeler, uh, Nelson, and Alex playing some good old-fashioned Canadian Highlander, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, and then on Saturday, it's live, so something's going to happen. Um, and I think that's it right now. Yeah, in-person Canlander, yeah. Um, and then Sunday, we've got more Play It Forward. We've got, um, boop, boop. I need some glass. Uh, more Play It Forward, Rhythm Cafe, playing a musical story. And then, uh, I think Wheeler is going to be wrapping up his look at... Um, Legends of Runeterra, I think, or maybe he's got one more week. I'm not sure. Is that something? Is that something? The thing you secretly recorded last Saturday? No, you don't know what the thing we secretly recorded last Saturday is. Um, but you should be excited for it. I don't know when it's going to be. Um, but it it's going to be good. I'm very excited. Did the prediction ever end? Nope, because we haven't found diamonds yet. It is 1240. We got 20 minutes left. Let's see if we can find some diamonds so some people can win some channel points. I mean, I suppose if we don't find any diamonds, some people are still going to win channel points, but uh, I would rather the people who guess that we will find diamonds win channel points because that means I will find diamonds. And finding diamonds is fun. Doesn't matter how many of these things you found in this game, it's still fun to find diamonds. It's always fun to find diamonds in Minecraft. Anyways, that's all that's coming up this week on the channel. Which is, uh... A lot of good stuff. I'm excited. Uh, has James ever dug up an entire map-sized hole? No. I have not. Although I think there's ways to make maps smaller or bigger, depending. Hmm.
Uh, is normal punch a chunk back tomorrow? Yep. Yeah, the reason why I didn't stream on Monday was just, um, I got back, we got back into town on Sunday, and just two nights in a hotel bed left me kind of sleepy. Um, like, you never sleep really good. Like, I didn't sleep poorly, but I didn't sleep amazingly, and just the thought of having to get up at quarter after six on Monday was just like, ugh. No, I, I, I'd like to sleep in, please. So I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not stream on Monday. I'm just gonna take the day off. It was nice. I slept in. The weekend was very nice. It was very nice. I mean, it was very chill. Like, didn't really do much of anything. Pretty much just stuck around the resort. With the exception of, like, a very quick trip into town um, to check out their record store. Which, they did, I didn't find anything that I was, like, super keen to have. But it was a nice little record store. It's, like, actually, in my opinion, like, kind of like a, a perfect small record store. It was very nice. I really liked it. Um, and then, yeah, basically just hung around the the resort, hung out with Ashley's family, um, some very nice meals. You know, the kind of the kind of dinner where you you know you hang out at the restaurant for like three hours or whatever, um, which were nice. Um, and then we did a spa thing on the Saturday, which was kind of fun and different called Hydropath, which was kind of neat. What restaurant can't you hang out at three hours? Well, I mean, just the, the not, nothing to do with the restaurant, just the kind of Sorry, I guess I did say the kind of restaurant. I meant to say the kind of dinner. The kind of... Reason you would go to a restaurant for three hours is because you're with people, right? Like, generally speaking, if you're going to a restaurant... Like, if Ashley and I were to go to, go to a restaurant and get food... We are not going to hang out at the restaurant for three hours. Unless the dining experience requires it. Otherwise, we're going to get in, we're going to get our food, and we're going to more or less get out. The kind where, yeah, exactly. The kind where you enjoy being there. It also helped that, like, neither, like, none of the rooms really had, like, none of us were in, like, suites or anything, right? So, like, nobody had, like, a, a, a really good place to hang out. So, the dinner table at the restaurant was the best option. So, it was good. I had a very good dinner, too. Very good dinner. Okay. Hello, diamonds. Where are you? Come out and play! Does the diamond call work? Sometimes.
Come on. James, we have seen you go, this is where diamonds are, and dig into a random spot of 500 block long tunnel and find diamonds. True. The thing is, is that you only really remember the times that I do it and it works. <laughs> Less the times that I do it and it doesn't, which are more often. Oh, I got excited for just a half a second. I thought that lapis was a diamond. All right. I think we're going to have enough time here to go up, dump our um, inventory, and do another full inventory. Oopsies. Um... So, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Baron Von popping off. Thanks for the 57 month resub. Appreciate it. Excited for half a, think half a second thinking the lapis was a diamond ship. Yeah, we should do a follow up to the uh, to that magic video. A 2022 version of uh... hey, look at that! Oh, good, more water. Magic players say 2022, it's just all complaints about alchemy. I mean, that's the thing is that that video nowadays would be qu quite a bit different. So it's actually not a bad idea. Maybe we should do that. All right. Stump our stuff. We need to shoot. We don't have any dry sponges. Okay. We need to dry some sponges. Okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. Gentlemen, I've called you here to kill the Batman. Can't help but notice that you've you've already died. Uh, we'll probably need some glass just in case. Although I don't know. Let's take that. Is the shit XA meme even relevant anymore? I mean, yeah. I don't see why not. All right, Frank. Let's go.
Oh my god. Uh, okay. That's large. Um. Welcome back for 29 months. Thank you, friends. Water, water everywhere. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I'm gonna need more glass. I mean, for now, I can go like this. So much more glass. <laughs> yeah, the water is also taking up valuable spawning, a lot of valuable spawning spots for diamonds, actually, like a lot. I cheated. Hey, Growl. Oh, my God. All right. I'm feeling pretty confident that uh, we're probably not going to find any diamonds today. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it's probably not going to happen. Let's go get a lot more glass. It's 12.55. We barely have any time. Okay, we should have enough time to maybe get some of this glass and water taken care of. But that's kind of it. We made good progress today, which is nice. I'm not, certainly not going to complain about that, but holy moly. It's a lot of freaking water. Alright, we got another stack. I'm just gonna take the stack. And hopefully that's enough. Back to the pit. Ow. Hey, Spade Slick, thanks for the 140 Deep Slate Coal Pog. Oh, you're right. Hey, Deep Slate Coal. Neat. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 keep that. That is a rare block. All right, so glass, 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 glass. Uh, let's turn these on. Okay, and then we need glass here and here, and then we're gonna need glass. I mean, we're going to need glass here, 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 and here. Oh, 
And then over here, we're going to need it. Oh, God. Wait, is that right? Is that the corner? Yeah, that's the corner, right? We can go like this. Oh, you know, you know, you know what we could do. We could go like this. Ow! And like this, and like this, and like this. Okay. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this last layer. If we uncover diamonds, great. If we don't, the answer is no. We did not find any diamonds. Oh, God. I've fallen down a hole. Stop. Oh, hey, James. You just passed 300 falls. <laughs> Hooray! Celebrate fall times, come on. All right. Ooh, look, another piece. pieces. Dang. I thought this was I thought this stuff was supposed to be rare. It's everywhere. All right, friends, as we come to a close here, uh thanks everybody for hanging out today. It's a lot of fun. Um as I said earlier, uh, coming up next is Talking Sim with Corey and Cameron, and they're going to be playing some more Disco Elysium. Static Delaware, thanks for the four and three sub. Um, so do stick around for that. They'll be live in just under a half an hour. Uh, and then tonight is the continued adventures of Adam and Ben playing um, the hot new From Software game, Bloodborne. <laughs> Uh, so do stick around for that as well. But yeah, that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to grab these last couple. Oh, good Lord. Look at it all. It's everywhere. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, we found a lot of it. There's three more whole pieces here. Cool. I mean that was cheating, but I don't I don't really care. Neat, we got six. That's awesome. Oh god. 
There's just a creeper on my house. Did one fall into the deep pit? Ow. No. All right. Uh, I mean, hold on. One thing we do need to do before we sign off is place all of these blocks of copper. Hey, Gap Filler, welcome back for 29 months. Appreciate it. All right. Are you intentionally avoiding the XP repairing your tools? I guess I could have used it for my shovel and my silk touch pickaxe, but it doesn't really, I don't really care. I can't use it for my main pickaxe. Yeah, it's true. We also have to get back all those levels we lost earlier. Ooh, this is nice. We're going to have one left over. Uh, boom. Okay. Let's look at this thing now. <laughs> oh, my God. Cool. All right, friends. That is going to do it for today's stream. I appreciate everybody hanging out. That's a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be back next week with a more regular mine o'clock. Surge will be back. Uno will be back. We will be starting our playthrough of Ocean Block here on mine o'clock. So please do be sure to tune in for that uh, next week because it should be a lot of fun. Um, you know what's coming up now. I've told you. I don't need to tell you again. Um, I hope you all have a good day. Stay safe. Do what you got to do. I'm going to run some commercials on the way out. Um, all relevant links will be posted in chat that you should be checking out. Patreon, Discord, Twitter, the website. Um, you you know you know all of these links by now, I am sure. So, But if not, be sure to hit them up. Uh, and check them out. Um, something, I, yeah, something that we don't actually mention uh, often with a Discord server... It's an open Discord server. There's no requirements to be in the Discord server. You do not need to be a subscriber here on Twitch. You do not need to be a Patreon patron over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. You don't need to be a member at the at the YouTubes. It's just open for all. So if you're looking for a place to hang out and chat with like-minded folks, discord.gg slash LRR will get you that instant invite. What if I am a patron and subscriber? Then you will get your name in purple. That's pretty much it. You'll get a special tag, and your name will be purple. That's that's it. There's no perks other than just a fun colored name. Ah, purple, the color of kings. True. All right. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Y'all are great. Have a good day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody. <laughs>